Welcome to the latest edition of Executive Mosaic's Weekly Roundup. On Tuesday, GovCon Wire reported on the Department of Defense finalizing a $30 billion contract with F-35 prime contractor Lockheed Martin, for production lots 15 to 17 of the fifth-generation fighter aircraft. Other significant developments in the GovCon space this week include Tetra Tech's acquisition of enterprise technology and consulting services provider Amex, the appointment of IT executive Omar Megwid to the chief digital officer post at BWX Technologies, and L3 Harris's finalized acquisition of the tactical data link product line from Viasat. Stay tuned for more news from Executive Mosaic's top-of-the-line publications about the current trends that are impacting the GovCon sector. Lockheed Martin and the Department of Defense recently reached a $30 billion agreement for the company to manufacture up to 398 F-35 jets for U.S. and international military customers. L3 Harris Technologies completed its acquisition of Link 16, the tactical data link product line of Viasat, in a deal worth approximately $1.96 billion. Tetra Tech has acquired Reston, Virginia-based management consulting firm Amix for an undisclosed sum as part of efforts to expand its cybersecurity and enterprise technology service offerings. Nominations for the 2023 Class of WASH 100 inductees are being accepted now through January 11. The coming season marks the 10th year of Executive Mosaic giving out this honor to a cross-section of leaders of consequence from both the public and private sectors. Visit wash100.com to nominate a GovCon champion today. Raj Iyer, the first civilian CIO of the U.S. Army and a two-time WASH 100 award winner, announced on Thursday that he will be stepping down from the role. AdNet Systems will continue to help NASA analyze scientific data and support information technology for the Goddard Space Flight Center, under a $468 million small business set-aside contract. Omar Megwid, former Vice President and Chief Information Officer at L3 Harris, joined BWX Technologies on January 1 to serve as Senior VP and Chief Digital Officer. Join the Potomac Officers Club's Mission Partner Environment and JADC2 Intersection Forum on January 19, 2023. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. The DoD will establish a digital academy to expand its cybersecurity workforce, as authorized by the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2023. In a recent executive spotlight conversation, SAP North America Senior Vice President and Managing Director Carmen Kruger talked with Executive Biz about the outgrowth of cloud usage and adoption in the federal government, the differentiators of the company's software offerings and talent retention strategies and more. Are you a GovCon expert? You can apply for consideration to become a part of Executive Mosaic's most exciting program. Contact us today to learn more about becoming a GovCon expert and visit GovConWire.com to read the latest features on our industry. The U.S. Navy awarded Kratos Defense and Security Solutions a contract to procure two units of Valkyrie, the unmanned air vehicle Kratos developed with the Air Force Research Laboratory. The General Services Administration has updated its eBuy acquisition tool to include a feature that allows contractors to inform government customers they are interested in a request for quote or a request for information. See you all next week.